For this week's video reflection, I'm continuing my tour of the sacred places here on the Trinity campus. And of course, today we are visiting the Memorial Garden. It's a pretty day to do that. It's mostly sunny today. And the roses are beginning to bloom in the garden. And there's no time when the garden is more beautiful than when there are lots of roses in bloom. The Memorial Garden, of course, is a place where the ashes of so many beloved people connected to this community over the course of the years have been interred. And so it's a place where people come to visit the memories of their loved ones, to pray with and for them, to remember and reflect. But people also come here who don't have that kind of connection to this garden, still to reflect and refresh themselves and enjoy the beauty of this space. One of the things that I really enjoy about the garden during normal seasons is the way in which the children from the preschool or from CFI, as they're coming and going, will often run in here and run around the circle inside. And there's just something that I think is really touching about the joy of the kids intersecting with the meaning of this garden and the love that is connected to this garden. It just seems like a, a nice compliment, that joy and that laughter with uh, the meaning and purpose of this beautiful space. The garden is also where we usually hold our sunrise service on Easter morning with folks gathered around. Unfortunately, we aren't able to do that this Easter, but for those who are a part of that service normally, maybe this visit to the garden today will help you to touch and appreciate the memory of those services. Uh, which I hope we'll be able to do again next Easter. This Easter will be quite different, of course, but the joy of Easter will still come to us in some way, shape, or form. We're entering tomorrow the heart of Holy Week with Monday Thursday. We'll have our Monday Thursday Zoom Agape Liturgy tomorrow. Uh, you can start joining the Zoom at 6 o'clock, and the liturgy will start at 6.15. We sent out links and information for that yesterday. We'll remind you of that again tomorrow, but I hope many of you will be able to join us for that unique experience of community in separate places. Good Friday, we will have our Good Friday liturgy at 7 o'clock Friday evening. Uh, Stations of the Cross video will be available soon for you to use any time that day or, or this Holy Week for that matter. Nine o'clock Saturday morning will be our very short service of Holy Saturday streamed from the church. And then Saturday evening at eight will be an abbreviated version of the Easter vigil streaming at 8 p.m. And then of course, Sunday morning at 10 will be our Easter service streamed live from the church. Also tomorrow evening, Thursday evening from eight to 10, we will have a live streaming of the Reserve Sacrament at the Altar of Repose in the chapel. For those who normally spend part of their Monday, Thursday evening or early Good Friday morning in vigil in the chapel, that will give you an opportunity to make contact with that tradition in this time when we have so many limitations imposed upon us. And so this is a different Holy Week and a different Easter, but we will still find ways of touching the deep meaning of these festivals as a part of our church life. This sculpture in the middle of the garden symbolizes the Trinity, and so it symbolizes in a way the way in which everything kind of centers in this place of beauty and memory and reflection and refreshment. And it's just a beautiful spot and a beautiful symbol of who we are and who we strive to be and of the connection we have with God and with each other. So here I am, here in the Memorial Garden, uh, 
And I hope you've enjoyed our visit to this sacred space. And I look forward to sharing Holy Week with you in this unusual season. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're navigating your way through this time as best you can, as we all are trying to do. As far as we know, there are still no members of the congregation who are suffering from the virus, but of course, we all probably know people and are connected to people who are. So we continue to hold our community, both the Trinity community and the larger community, in our prayers during this time. And I pray God's blessing upon all of you, and I look forward to encountering you virtually, shall we say, as we continue to move through Holy Week and into Easter together. Take care, God bless, and be well.